case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1983, the New York Court of Appeals took up a fascinating grand larceny case, People v. Robinson. The heart of the matter was the legal intricacies of larceny, a crime where one unlawfully takes, obtains, or withholds someone else's property with ill intent. Robinson, the defendant, was accused of whisking away the wheels and tires from a pristine Lincoln Continental. His fingerprints were found hauntingly marking the vehicle. Strikingly, no evidence connected him to the disappearance of the car itself. This intriguing discrepancy initially led the lower court to rule Robinson guilty of grand larceny. However, this was not where the gavel landed for good. The story unfurled in May 1977, when Volpe Motors reported the theft of the opulent Lincoln Continental. Ironically, the car was found on a local street that day, its pride, the wheels, and tires cruelly stripped away. The net was thrown out, and Robinson got ensnared after his fingerprints surfaced on the vehicle. Yet the prosecution couldn't tie him to the car's disappearance at the trial. Against the backdrop of conflicting factors, Robinson was found guilty. However, the wheels of justice grind slow, but grind fine. The appellate division staged an unexpected but drastic about turn, reversing the conviction. They argued that the proof fell short in nailing Robinson with larceny. When the court affirmed this adventurous interpretation, it stepped into the legendary legal limbo, balancing the scales of justice against the cliffhanger of common sense. The court honed in on a unique perspective. They argued that while Robinson might be guilty of possessing stolen goods, it was a leap too far to pin the burden of larceny on him. The theft, they asserted, was over once the original criminals relinquished control. Robinson's narrative was caught in this crosshair, disconnected from the original act of larceny but mired in possession. Interestingly, they rejected the dissent's opposing view, that larceny finished only when the parting away of the car's pieces was complete. A landmark example of how the judicial system delves deep into each case's unique facets, the ruling ensured Robinson walked free. The deafening gavel's echo, however, continues to prompt the law's interpretation and application in other intriguing theft cases to date. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.